For my fellow content creators, today we're looking at my top-down setup. Now this is going to work for you whether or not you're new to the craft or you're a veteran. It also will work whether or not you have a dedicated desk like I do, or you're using something like a kitchen table or repurposing your regular desk to get this done. Today's sponsor is Manbully and they sent out their FPT-284 horizontal tripod. Now I was only supposed to mention this in the video, but this has taken the place of my other tripod as my main daily driver. And so I want to go over it a little bit in detail. And then you let me know in the comments if you're interested in seeing a full review on this. The FPT-284 is a lightweight aluminum frame tripod with etched measurements on the center pole for consistent accurate output. Its lightweight makes it easy to move around and adjust each three position leg. One of the legs has a rubber grip that doubles as a monopod. The twist locks make it easy to extend and contract the tripod. That's a big plus in filming sessions that call for multiple angles and shots removing the frustration of lumbering around a big tripod. The center pole can be positioned in a standard vertical placement or be converted to a horizontal tripod in two small steps. There are three bubbles on board to make sure you stay level, and it actually ships with two quick release plates. It works well with the third party quick mount system I have on all my gear for even faster tool changes. When extended, there's an included carabiner attachment for counterweights. There's also a second mount for another camera, a monitor, a light, etc., whatever you need. I'm really liking it and with its 33 pound capacity, this will increase the output and quality of my channel. If you've watched my videos, you've seen these next products by Hoto. These fit in any situation, whether it be a toolbox or a high-end desk setup. Hoto creates aesthetically pleasing tools that fit modern design. Hoto is short for home tools, and much like its quest to create tools that fit in an art museum, the name is just as cool. I have the precision screwdriver set that I use for small things on the setup and when filming, like adjusting my camera cages, customizing keyboards, working on my PC builds, etc. The power drill is a full-on 12-volt drill. It comes with a complete tool set that can be used in situations that require high quality tools like hanging wall mounts for TVs, monitors, building furniture like when I recently put together my kids new desk setup, and other more rugged projects. Both of these tool kits, the precision screwdriver and drill come with ample accessories needed to finish most projects. And all the tools are sturdy and very well built and machined. I purchased this self locking measuring tape before receiving another in the power drill kit. This measuring tape is just as functional as it is elegant. It fits in a toolbox or design shop without missing a beat. My wife took my extra one as soon as she saw I had two and she uses it in her clothing shop where she creates custom clothing, such as the Cozy Christopher Crew long sleeve sweater I have on. Lastly, this has been my most used Hodo product. It's a digital smart scale design for the kitchen that I use in all of my desk peripheral videos. It gives me pinpoint accurate measurements and in increments as small as 0.1 gram. It connects to the My Home app where you can save measurements for recipes or comparing gaming mice and controllers at the end of the year. There's even a special mode to measure coffee ingredients in the event you are very particular about your daily cup, or in my case, cups. So far you've seen the accessories that I use on a day-to-day -day basis, but I have a lot more for special circumstances like dollies and stuff like that. So let me know if you're interested in that content. But now we're gonna look at the actual setup, what it is and how I use it on a day-to-day -day basis. So let's jump into that portion of the video. The overhead is by newer. The only flaws are its narrow base and no mount point exact center. Other than that, it has been perfect. It's a sturdy top down allowing you to mount any camera or mobile phone. It's portable and can be used on any surface, even the floor. There are several mount points for lights, backdrops, you name it, and it's made of metal with rubber feet to protect surfaces and prevent slips. I also have the original Nigel V, which I use to monitor recordings, pun intended. This in itself is a boost to productivity. I even use this as a portable capture card for 4K60 game footage. These little buggers are expensive, but I've gotten far more value than I paid multiplied over and over. The Bluetooth stereo speakers are from Santana. I did a dedicated video on these, they're freaking fantastic, and I connect my phone to these when I'm at the set of capturing footage. They sound amazing, can operate separate or in stereo mode. You can take them anywhere due to their rugged sealed build, and they can even be used as a battery bank. I'll link the review below. For lighting, I use two Yolanzi 7-inch RGB lights that can come with two types of light diffusion. They're rechargeable, are bicolor and RGB with a ton of effects and magnetically attached to the cage. They're not perfect, but they're extremely affordable and provide great lighting. 
I also use this suit photo tube light that absolutely has no business being this good for this cheap of a price, this affordable of a price. I'm willing to bet most people will not be able to tell this from a much higher brand. It can be controlled via app, has a plethora of effects, and can be grouped into multiple light groups and channels. I only use this light though when I really need to light up the area as the tube light can reflect off surfaces and is extremely bright due to its size even though it can be adjusted in 1% increments. In a larger space it wouldn't be as potent but in my nook where my setup is it changes the lighting pretty drastically. I also use a small magnetic newer video RGB light with cold shoe attachment, 20 lighting effects, and a built in diffuser. The desk I use for my setup is a Husky 52 by 30 inch power standing workbench. It has a 1.18 inch thick solid wood worktop with two easy access grommets and has a powder coated steel frame. This is one of three Husky workbenches that I own. The lower crossbeam can be center mounted for more support or rear mounted for leg room if you're using this as a desk instead of a workbench. It comes with a side mounted power strip with six outlets and two USB ports. The lift motors can raise the desk in 38.5 seconds and lower it in 38.81 seconds. It has a manual adjustment and four memory settings. You can mount this on the included leveling feet or use the included 3 by one inch casters, allowing this to be easily moved around your space as it weighs 128 pounds fully assembled. At its greatest height, the desk weight capacity is 198 pounds, but at its lowest setting, it has a weight capacity of 1,000 pounds. My guess is this is based on the motors used for lifting and not the steel frame. On the leveling feet, the desk height spans 29.5 inches to 47 inches. And on the casters, 32.6 inches to 50.1 inches. The desk knows what height it's at and displays that so you don't have to worry about deciphering the two. The side attached outlet makes this perfect for my use case as I test and unbox products here. The drawer is organized, kind of, using trays I purchased from Timu and has a 22 pound weight capacity. There's also a headphone mount that is steel and attached to the frame so it can also handle much heavier objects hanging from it as well. This was the perfect top down setup for content creators. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought. Do you have any of these products? And if you're interested in seeing more of these in the future, I'm gonna be doing more setups, but more of the traditional setups. The desk setup behind me, the desk setup that I built upstairs, my main desk setup for 2023, and some of the tools that I use in those particular spaces. So if you're new to the channel and you like today's content, consider subscribing below, joining the Cozy Coalition. But as always, stay cozy in that crazy world and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.